Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to the channel. My name's Tim Simpson. If you haven't been here before, welcome along. We talk here about all sorts of techy, video, geeky stuff. And today in particular is the ATEM Mini. I've been doing quite a few videos on the ATEM Mini and there's a good chance that you're here on this channel because you found one of my ATEM videos. And I've been talking a lot about all the functionality that it has and the great things it can do. The Blackmagic weren't happy, so they've added something else and it just really transforms the entire thing once again. They're really good at that, aren't they? Anyway, what this new update does, if you upgrade to the 8.6 firmware and the 8.6 version of the ATM software control, you can now plug your phone directly into the USB port at the back of the ATM Mini Pro. So it's just the Pros, not the ATM Mini, but the Pro, the Pro ISO and the new Extremes. And you can just plug this in and it will broadcast to your whichever social media you want to stream to straight away you don't need a laptop or a pc or any other network it will just tether to your phone and stream using your phone's data straight away bingo just like that there are a couple of drawbacks to doing this this way in the setup and i will show you a couple of things that they might not have shown you on the black magic demo and um, stuff that you need to prepare before you go to a site sort of thing. And I'll show you now also how to set this up and get it working. This is this is going to be quick. Let's start by checking out the back of the ATEM Mini where all the plugs are along here. We've got the audio. There's another audio socket here I'm not using at the moment. That's something you can put a mic into. We've got the four HDMI inputs here and the HDMI output. And of course the USB that I've currently got hooked up to this um, Samsung disk here. And we've got a network interface and of course the power. Power is most useful because without that the rest of it wouldn't work of course. Now what you can do here is simply pull your USB device out. You can just add it onto a hub if you've got one. And then you need one of these cables. This is a, a lightning cable that you're all familiar with that socket there that goes into your iPhone. And at the other end of it is USB-C. Thankfully, these come with the iPhone 12 and I think the iPhone 11. Both come with USB-C to Lightning because all of the new Macs and stuff have got USB-C in them. So I'm just going to plug this end here now, right into here, like that. And then I'm going to take this end and plug it into the phone. Okay, and now you're all wanting to know, well, okay, what's all the, the setup bit? That's actually really easy. You just go into a personal hotspot here, which I'm not going to do because it will show you my Wi-Fi password. Go into personal hotspot and make sure that um, everybody can join. Done. And that, well, actually, that's it. <laughs> that's all the setup you need. Because now when you've got this plugged in, and this is plugged in down here in the back of your ATEM. Then you can see that there's this little icon right here. And what that little icon there is telling you is that it's tethered to the phone and using your mobile phone's data. It's doing it right now. So as soon as I come over to here and I hit on air, then you can see that that flashes a couple of times. It stopped flashing. It says I'm on air. There's my stream length. It's working. So that's sending data now to YouTube in this case. Now, one of the tricks with this is that you do need to have set the internet information up on the ATM using ATM software control before you go in the field if you're not going to take a laptop or something with you. You don't have to have that laptop with you. You can just do this. So you can put this in a case with some cameras and your phone and the cables and just set it up in a location without a laptop. Um, just use something like the Blackmagic Video Assist like I am as a monitor and um, I've got the multi-view on that running perfectly fine. It's a little small but you can see everything. That makes it an incredibly simple and very portable setup. You can run the ATEM itself off a camera battery like the uh, ones that I've got up on the shelf here behind me and I showed you that in another video. I'll put a link to that uh, up here in a card, up here in a card, one of those corners. And you can click on that after this and watch that. And th with all of that, you don't need a power supply. You don't need anything at all. You can just run this. You can, of course, still run the laptop into here and use the ATM software control if you want to be able to do things with the 
um, stills and the media player and that sort of thing that's fine you can still do that but you don't need it and that's really really awesome and there it goes um, that's it so cache is full even it tells you that down here that's wicked so yeah that's it it's running anyway I'm going to turn that off again now because I uh, don't need it really running anymore and you can take this away now that was a really quick video you can take this away do the update on your ATM, plug your phone in, and stream something. Do it. It's great. And I'll see you later when I make another video. Bye.